Back from, as the mayor put it, thugs who only want to incite violence. Thug who, uh, thugs who, as you've been watching, are running rampant in parts of the city. And here's okay, what, of course, uh, that Leland Vitter saw not long ago. Yeah, I think they got, uh, I think they got a couple years to me. I'll verify that. 80 to uh, 76. Are you guys watching this picture? Did yeah, you just see that? Yeah, you guys broke it off on the engine. Uh, small orders, you need uh, 80, 80 to 40 to go up there. Steve! Yeah, we're good, yeah, we're good. Any wagons on this channel, any wagon, Baltimore South, any wagon, Steve, Steve, get down, get back, get back, get up on the stairs. Are you watching this, guys? Are they watching this? Steve, are you watching this? Uh, we were indeed watching and listening to political commentary during Hannity and watching as all of this was, was uh, unfolding. Uh, it appears our understanding of what happened is that these people stole a car uh, and ran it through the fire. This, this fire eventually burned. Uh, up the car. Okay. A live look on the streets of Baltimore, now West Baltimore, yeah, where the fires continue to burn. In the last couple of hours, we also saw firefighters battling with a massive yeah, building yeah. fire, uh, one of the few that has been burning across the city. Uh, this one, a five-story senior senator, senior center sponsored by a Baptist church, started during our newscast some eight hours ago at three o'clock this afternoon, Baltimore time. We saw large groups of juveniles, apparently who just gotten out of school, as the cops called them, throwing rocks, bricks, and other items at the officers. The officers, some of them, picked up the rocks that were thrown at them and threw them back at the rioters. Police have been tweeting that rock throwing and bottle throwing is all still going on. They say more than a dozen officers hurt today. We, we told you 15 of the officials were the police earlier. We have somebody in the basement. To to we have uh, 1038. Numbers. We also witnessed rioters setting fire to cop cars and looting All businesses right, and stores, store after store there. after now store. After store. We saw them outside. And what we could not see, because it was inside, is the uh, looting of the mall where all of this requested. began. Uh, the, the mall at Mond uh, they have a medical Mondawin scene, Kurt. Mall, they got a medical uh, where scene store down after there, store after store, store according scene. to police, was looted. The, the looters all got there in their cars, did their damage, and then left in their cars before police could return. Police had also tweeted some people even cut one of the fire department's hoses as the crews were trying to put out the fire. Our Leland Vittert is back on the streets. When the news conferences begin, we'll take you there. But And now they're throwing again, Leland. Exactly, Chef. These are liquor bottles that they looted from about 150 yards in front of where the police are, the same place that all those fires you saw burning and then also where you saw the car anyway, crash and everything else. And then they grabbed the liquor bottles. I'm surprised anyway, there's actually liquor bottles left in any of these liquor today. stores because there's, there's been so much walking out. NA. And then they walk yep. down, threw them at the police and walk back. This is the very same area that we've been seeing this go on for a very long time. We've got six, 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 police yeah, off the sidewalk. But what's interesting here, Shep, is that uh, if you see the, the, the police here, and they really retreated at about nine o'clock this evening. We started down here at this street corner where you see the burning cars that were crashed, and there's a number of different businesses there. There's a mini mart, two liquor stores. We talked to some of the owners who were near tears at the fact that their stores had been looted, their livelihoods destroyed, and the residents around here feel the very same way. The police line used to be at that corner right down there. There was a whole lot of police officers down there, all the riot guys, and at some point they were given the order to retreat, and that's when they've retreated all the way back down where we are and where we're walking now. As, as nightfall has come, it has gotten increasingly violent and increasingly unpredictable out here uh, in you know, this environment. The thing, Leland, and that's is one of the reasons we're staying. I only see a handful a of demonstrators. Have Marshall police Beating. attempted to effect an arrest in any way? Well, Chef, if you remember earlier, we talked in the 8 o'clock hour, and they certainly arrested the looters at a number of the stores. We saw them, uh, there was a deal store that was looted, uh, and the police had enough force that they were able to come in and arrest those looters. But it was, it was ones and twos and threes and fours that were being arrested. Out here, you have so many agitators, and you're in a much more dense pop. At the same time, the residents up and down the street we've talked to say they don't think this type of violence and call it protesting if you want or rioting is going to solve anything.